Today, I'll show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi for Rust development to build a video streaming app. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial covering everything from downloading Ubuntu server to streaming video to your browser. This is going to be fun, guys. I promise. Let's head over to raspberrypi.com to download the Raspberry Pi Imager software. Open the image and drag the icon to install it under the Applications folder. Open the Raspberry Pi Imager app Choose OS, then other general purpose OS, and then Ubuntu. Then scroll down, select 64-bit server OS for ARM64 architectures. Select the SD card that you want to use. Then click on the gear so that you can enable SSH access, username, password, and configure the wireless network. Click on the Save button, then go ahead and write the image to the SD card. After your computer is done flashing the card, go ahead and eject it. Insert the card into your Raspberry Pi. Now you are ready to plug your Raspberry Pi to the power outlet. Make sure to use a compatible power adapter. Let me show you a trick to find your Raspberry Pi within your home network. All we need is your IP and your network mask. Then we will ping all the computers within your home network. This script will go through all the devices in your home network and print the ping result. Then we'll try to connect to all the computers that replied successfully. Here we see that 44 replied successfully, and because this is not the first time I set up this Raspberry Pi, I know that that's the IP address of that device. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to SSH to it. Let's see what happens. Of course, I'm using the credentials that we created during the configuration process. Nice. So I want to copy my SSH keys so that I do not need to type my password when I SSH to the Raspberry Pi. First, I'll create a folder for us to work in. Then let's create a, a file that will be our script. So we need to change the permissions so that the file can be executed as a script. And then we can use VS Code or Veeam to edit the contents of this file. So first thing we need to do is tell the OS that this is a script. I'm going to set the user to Ubuntu because that's what I configured in my Raspberry Pi. Then we'll echo the Raspberry Pi IP just to make sure that the environment variable that we pass to the script is correct. And the actual work happens here. So we use SSH copy ID to install your public key into the Raspberry Pi. So if I try to execute the command just like this, it won't work because I did not pass a valid um, IP. Now it's copying the keys. This can be the same key that you use for uh, cloning repos from GitHub. If you need to generate the key, this is the command to do it. So the minus two specifies the algorithm to use. I think ed255.19 is a elliptic curve. Now I should be able to SSH without using a password. Nice. Let's search for Docker install. Click on the docker.com link. Then select your OS. On my case, it's an Apple computer with an M1 chip. Then open the DMG and drag and drop the image to the applications folder. We gotta go to Google, install cargo. Right, so you need to execute this script and you should be good to go. Let's paste that script to your terminal. The script is telling me that Rust is already installed into my system. So in your case, you just go ahead and proceed with the installation and you should be good to go. We want to create a project here. So cargo new, hello world. This creates a basic project. So cargo run. There you go. Okay, so it, it's a hell world. Now we want to create a script that we can use to deploy this to the Raspberry Pi. Again, let's call it um, deploy.sh, then give it execution permissions and bin bash. Um, now this is something new. We need to target the um, Raspberry Pi architecture. This is our Raspberry Pi architecture. 
define the username. By the way, all this code is open source and should be available on the first comment of the video. And we'll use a tool called Cross to build the application. Um, because I'm using a MacBook Pro with the, an M1 chip. So Cross is a tool that uses like a Dockerized build to ensure that you can build your uh, Rust application for any uh, architecture. It doesn't work all the time, but it will work for this. So SCP is a command to copy the binary from uh, my MacBook Pro to the uh, Raspberry Pi. Let's see if we can run it from here. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what the last command will do. So this will copy the file and then SSH will execute it. All right, I'm not running Docker, am I? I don't see it, that's right. Let's wait for Docker to start. All right. Imagine that everything works on one shot. That will be beautiful. But uh, I don't think so. I always mess up. Now it's going to try to execute it. And it worked. That's pretty awesome. Nice. We built a Raspberry Pi development environment using our beefy laptop to code and compile and a convenient deployment script. On the next video, we will focus on video streaming. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on all notifications. I'll publish part two next week, so stay tuned. Bye.